हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी फाइन बुक दैट डॉक्टर एस के बांसल अ न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट ही हैज रिटन द माइंड डू यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज इट सो सर इज डिस्कसिंग विद अस वेरियस टॉपिक्स दैट ही हैज कवर्ड इन हिज बुक एंड प्रीवियसली ही ऑल्सो टोल्ड अस अबाउट फीलिंग्स इमोशंस अबाउट द बेसिस ऑफ माइंड द ब्रेन एंड टूडे he is telling us about the thoughts the origin of thoughts uh, i think on an average thousands of thoughts come across our mind in one day right sir so sir tell us more about what is the cause of the development of these negative thoughts we every day we deal with negative thoughts it could be self critical it could be um, you know blaming other people or the world around us ye ho raha hai aise ho raha hai so we are continuously in a uh, tangled in negative thoughts so right. what causes this it's a very good question and uh, it's a, it's a one of the very important topic because uh, everyone sees hmm. whatsoever you are thinking that's what you become right and uh, sometimes we say just mind your head mind mind your thoughts right i mean in case uh, we want to say someone something to be positive we say mind your thoughts hmm. so thought play, plays a pivotal role as far as our mind is concerned as far as our living is concerned as far as our existence is concerned in case we uh, uh, we are careful vigilant as far as our hmm. thinking process is concerned hmm. it's going to be of immense use right. uh, in uh, creating a good quality of life you see basically the thoughts uh, they originate they're more like uh, uh, electrical uh, signals mm-hmm. and uh, they that's more like energy mm-hmm. and this uh, starts from uh, brain and uh, um, neurons basically mm-hmm. it has been proved uh, beyond doubt because the question doesn't uh, uh, relate to this but it has been proved beyond doubt that uh, this starts from the brain uh, and in different way there are different causes for that uh, because this i am telling you by virtue of the fact that uh, as far as the negativism is concerned is this a visual phenomena or this is not you see one of the most important thing is the perception mm-hmm. so the perception is one of the important thing which is going the uh, going to contribute uh, uh, to a major extent as far mm-hmm. as the thoughts are concerned okay. so the perception uh, is having uh, some sort of uh, uh, deficiencies and uh, it all depend uh, our on the focus also mm. because in case i am focused on one particular thing i may not note uh, the other things which is uh, um, going around mm. but all those things are also being perceived as a mind is concerned as far as our brain is concerned as far as subconscious mind is concerned True. so that's why i i was on this how the thoughts dwell because <clears throat> these are the thoughts which may not come to the triggering level okay. they are more like undercurrents mm-hmm. they are more like subliminal thoughts right. so because these th- li- li- subliminal thoughts also affect our thoughts mm. it is just like uh, as we discussed uh, in uh, some other lecture that the feelings are the just the component and lot many feelings let's say maybe in hundreds of thousands of feeling is going to make one emotion so likewise there may be small 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 bits as far as the thoughts are concerned or the subliminal undercurrent thought is concerned or small electrical potential is concerned but that's what is said mm-hmm. that in case that electrical potential is going to be there for more than 3 millisecond mm-hmm. it is converted into an action okay. no action doesn't mean a physical action mm-hmm. no action can be there in the mind also right even if there is a thought process which which becomes because on, uh, in case uh, any chemical reaction um which is more than 3 uh, mm-hmm. millisecond it it means all those chemical reaction which is more than this duration are all those chemical which is of smaller potential but they are still perceived by the human being so in that way the uh, thoughts are going to be made so it means they are made to us to our perception mm-hmm. to our knowingness mm-hmm. to our consciousness but at the same time the thoughts are also being made mm. as our brain and mind our life is concerned even without our uh, uh, knowingness mm-hmm. and that's why it becomes very very important as far as the surroundings are concerned right so as that's what we say that in case you are going to have good company mm. there are going to be good thoughts mm. you are going to develop something uh, of uh, good value right. this uh, more cultured uh, environment 
and uh, more uh, skilled environment or this is an environment full of confidence or this is an environment of uh, uh, really uh, evidence uh, proved uh, uh, things which is being discussed it's not just in the air or this is it's not more like high hypothesis so in that way i will say the company plays a important role because i will say even nowadays you see what is happening see most of the people world over they are just sitting on the monitor may it be uh, internet is concerned may it be the digital phone is concerned so that is more like their company mm. so whatsoever they are perceiving through the eyes through the music and through the ears is going to be their thought right and it is very very important to know that a particular sentence said repetitively that is going to condition our mind right or wrong mm. in case you, you i am told though i will say somebody tell me you are a donkey i am not donkey mm. because that is his his perspective he told me that you are donkey so i don't become a donkey mm. so that's my thought process right. right so but at the same time if i am told time and again time and again time and again by 1% 2% 3% 4% then i will start thinking are they wrong or i am wrong you see that's why the environment also creates lot of impact as far as our thought process is concerned mm. and this negativism is our own take mm. why i am saying is that in the process of identity in the process of attachment in the process of uh, greed in the process of uh, because everything is in the quantum mm. so need is okay greed lust is bad mm. so again uh, in the uh, process of uh, superiority complex in the process of uh, egoism yeah. uh, on uh, what happened that uh, we start uh, uh, developing uh, uh, some sort of phenomena um, uh, to surpass others and in case that is uh, not being taken care of that develops to some sort of negativism right so for, for example if there somebody some person is have more money than me so i will say why there should not be any why mm-hmm. no my perspective is why because in case somebody is having more money or maybe a good necklace i will start having jealousy mm-hmm. but why should i have jealousy mm-hmm. so that is going to create negative thought so i will say okay i am going to manipulate this i am going to be more corrupt or i am going to talk to my husband or i am uh, going to do this and i will prove uh, more worth than there is going to be rest mm-hmm. uh, rat race right. for something negative not for something positive right. so all these things uh, every day so uh, we should be contented rather than uh, into the rat race we should be as with our attachment detachment is concerned we should be in a balanced way we should be in a good environment as far as our living style is concerned mm. and we should be relatively a satisfied people person mm. why not for example if uh, i am make my both hands speak in a nice way and i am having some little some wishes or some good i am keeping good health also then it's okay why to think that i want billions of dollars or i want this particular car or i want a particular brand and what not i mean of course having all those things or aspiring those things is not bad but becoming crazy for that becoming a negative for that to coming to that sort of scenario platform just to harm other the other members of the society hmm. that is that's what is going to breed the negativity because that is the person who is uh, not uh, able to even uh, eat uh, two, two, two uh, bread pieces mm. is going to be obviously challenged mm. as far as uh, to a person who is having uh, uh, the plate full of uh, all, all sort of things to be eaten mm. so obviously there is going to be disparity obviously there is going to be some sort of uh, uh, social uh, uh, disharmony and this is going to create uh, ne- negativism mm. so there are negativism at all the level and for that i will say it is the individual self um, uh, then uh, revenge as far as uh, uh, most of the time i have seen that uh, in the present day world the people after uh, having little knowledge i will i'll say usually literate or uh, elite so because literate maybe as far as uh, in one particular subject matter is concerned it's okay it's fine because obviously you are a skilled person and you have uh, uh, um, made the things happen and the possible but at the same time the world is not like that the world is full of uh, talent you cannot be the world you cannot even uh, representing two or three person so l- let's embrace each and every person something good mm. rather than uh, uh, becoming over smart or uh, not taking the ownership putting the fault on others uh, betraying others 
uh, and uh, developing uh, these uh, negative thoughts, which is going to create problem. Mm -hmm. Again, there is going to be a mismatch as far as our good hormone is concerned or the bad hormone is concerned, as far as our body and mind uh, is concerned, there is going to be various things like bump in abdomen, there is going to be irritable bowel syndrome, there is going to be loose motions, or uh, the, um, there is going to be a person is going to be lazy, listlessness, hopelessness, and uh, again, uh, one doesn't have that sort of good energy to work. Mm -hmm. So all these things uh, is what uh, ultimately the negativism or the negative right, thoughts. Right. Because sometimes this all negative thoughts is also related with uh, more like a group, more like a society, more uh, to a belief system, more to uh, our habits also, mm -hmm. and to the religion also. Right. And uh, because people become hardliner. Mm -hmm. I'll say that people should be open, they should be uh, be in actualized uh, situation and uh, uh, they should uh, have a philosophy of live and let live. And uh, uh, short of that, uh, uh, rather than creeping the things and becoming more and more uh, going uh, into this sort of philosophy, is not going to be healthy. Right. So, sir, like you touched upon various aspects of life that impact the negative thinking. Yes. Uh, out of which you said that environment is a huge uh, influence company of a person it can uh, you know uh, impact your uh, thinking it could be positive it could be negative so the million dollar question is if we have already developed a negative thinking how we can change it into the positive yes yes you see uh, that that was half the thing what you said mm -hmm. it's not only the environment it is our own self monologue also okay because simultaneously I am talking to you at the same time, you are listening to me at the same time, your own thoughts are coming in between. Right. And they are also, also talking to you, hmm. to your brain, to your mind, to your subconscious mind. Because simultaneously there are so many forces which is coming in. Maybe you are having uh, something, some sort of uh, duty to be taken care of as, as far as your house is concerned. There may be crossing thought over there. And you said it that they are flooding of thoughts. So there are so many thoughts which keeps on, on, on coming which is, you can say, prioritized or segment, segmentalized, that uh, these are important situational thoughts, mm -hmm. these are in pipeline prioritized, and these are negative thoughts, or these are useless thoughts, or these are the just waste, neural waste, which is being taken care of uh, during sleep, right? So, uh, in that way, there is a mon monologue also. So, whenever, yeah, uh, it is, it should be, it is uh, our perspective, ultimately at the end of this. We cannot change the around, uh, or the society, or the persons around. We can try for that. We should try for that. We should try to change our environment. We should try to change our uh, uh, desires and uh, um, ungenuine uh, uh, actions, uh, some sort of arguments, uh, some sort of judgments uh, 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 for the sake of uh, making ourselves uh, or showing ourselves more superior. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but at the same time, in, because we know it, mm -hmm. all of us, we know it, that what is happening inside, because there is a dialogue which is there from the brain and mind is so enriched, they are so dynamic, they keep on changing in nanoseconds, as far as the thought, our own thoughts, because our own thought means they were the initial thoughts, the primary thoughts. Then they are, by virtue of our observation, experience, perceptions, and uh, uh, behavior, interpersonal relations, we have uh, formed new thoughts. Our needs, greeds, attachment, detachment, new new thoughts. So those thoughts, which is already there, so we are talking with that. We, we are having some sort of characteristics. We are having some sort of discipline. We are having some sort of belief. And we, we want, uh, we are having some sort of personality. So we want the thing should be in this perspective. So, for example, if I'm saying these particular words to do, you, maybe your own mind is talk, talking to you, you know, uh, possibly he's right, possibly he's not. Because most of the time, I may say I'm okay, you may say uh, I'm okay, but what I'll say, if there is a collective opinion, because evidence is not complete, evidence is never complete. If somebody says that is this is paper, may, may not be right, but in case everyone says, or the, there is a collective opinion that this is paper, this is evidence, there is evidence which has been created in the past and majority of the person by virtue of the uh, experience and evidence, they feel that this is paper, so we have to agree that this is paper. So with that sort of thing, because uh, simultaneously there are so many forces which is uh, acting on our uh, brain and mind, 
uh, there is internal dialogue, there is external dialogue, there is a situational dialogue, there is a, some uh, physiological dialogue of that of our body, not me desires, uh, I may be feeling uh, thirsty or uh, um, uh, so maybe even my uh, part of the brain is also again stimulating uh, that thing. So there are so many things which is coming in. Mm. So this is basically the thoughts, as I say, thoughts begets thoughts. And these are the thoughts only which is going to be uh, uh, take care as far as the negativism is concerned. Mm -hmm. So we know most of the time, I, I think that a uh, good number of us, uh, we are know that uh, we are not doing something good. Mm -hmm. But still we are doing it. We are not fair. Mm -hmm. We are not fair with our children. We give a uh, ca capital punishment and uh, we feel that's okay. We can give it because uh, we are having more power. The child is only four or five years, so I can dictate anything. So that's not my supremacy. The the call is that why should I create some sort of abrasions as far as the child is concerned, which is going to be uh, creating havoc as far as the futuristic outcome is concerned. This is going to cause an activism. This is going to cause some sort of sadism, as a sadistic behavior. We, we, uh, of course, that's again a sort of uh, negative thought action, right? So. I, I feel that uh, uh, we, we, we should take care of all these things ourselves and this is our own self only. We should know where we are going wrong. We should be disciplined. We should have a good character. We should look in between the line. We should be positive. We should believe in that code. We should uh, rather forgive the situation. We should not be in the re revengeful act. And uh, um, uh, it's always uh, uh, better to come, I'll say, open hand, open mind. Why not? Mm -hmm. After what are we going to take uh, out from this world? Uh, people uh, who happen to be really, uh, um, who have gave immense to this world, they, they, they are never known. Why? why? Why one should be known by one's name? That's not going to be everlasting. Mm -hmm. So the nature, this is all total nature. This is all creativity. So let's enjoy the creativity. The the immense, so much has been given by this mother nature. So let's, let's not, uh, why not enjoy that? Why to come with the small, small, small notions? This is bad, this is good, I would like to have this. In case I do not have uh, this, I'm going to create this sort of problem. This is my uh, my take. This has to be there with me. I'm worth it. Who are you to decide that this you are worth of it? Why not somebody else who is uh, sitting across the table is worth of something? I mean, we should listen to each and every one. Of course, uh, in the permitted uh, uh, time uh, frame, and uh, we should say right is in the right time, politely, no. Mm. Also, as and when it is required, in case somebody really wants you to come forward as to the substance abuse is concerned, maybe that may be your rich company mate. So why, why not to say no? Mm. So it's, uh, it's more like a nip the evil in the butt because uh, it, uh, uh, things done well in time is going to be more easy in the coming time mm. as far as the negativism is concerned. Over and above, and there are other means also we can create some, some sort, of, sort of spacing as far as our own brain is concerned. We keep on thinking negative, negative, negative. In between, we just uh, change the topic. Mm. So we create some sort of space, mm. uh, cleavage are uh, well known, undoubtedly as far as the yoga is concerned, as far as the meditation is concerned, introspection is concerned, or uh, taking up some uh, other issue, diversion of mind is concerned. Mm -hmm. This is also the various measures by virtue of which we can uh, take care of uh, uh, the thoughts, the uh, racing thoughts also, because uh, they can help us. We, we can even trace our own thoughts. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, tasting of our own thought is also very important mm -hmm. because once we taste, we ultimately we start that uh, this was the thought which I was thinking. Where I ultimately led to, mm -hmm. and in the journey of tracing of the thoughts, whether I have thought something good or I have thought something bad, mm -hmm. right? And in case is there any usefulness? Mm -hmm. Because it all depends again one's personality or one's attitude or behavior. So it's one you are to decide. Yeah, this is good or bad, but ultimately. Bad thought means something bad is going to happen. Good thought is something good, good is going to happen. Not only to you, to your family, but to the society, to the nation mm -hmm. and to the earth. Right, right. sir. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for giving insights to our viewers. Uh, this was Dr. S.K. Oh. Bansal. Uh, sir has very beautifully explained the whole process of thought or thinking. 
how the biology the personality the aptitude of one person the society as a collective measure it impacts one's thought process and most importantly our own moral structure our morality our ethical values how they influence our thinking and at the end sir has very beautifully and very subtly gave us a perfect way to handle our thoughts which is to introspect to sit with your thoughts and just observe where is that thought coming from and where it is leading you to so thank you so much